So this is a 148 tug, uh, Canadian tug, um, Kanuma. And this is the same as the same sort of thing. You're building uh, three of these with two other club members as sort of joint project. That's correct. Yep. And uh, all 3D printed. Uh, all the parts are 3D printed. Yeah. yeah. And so, what, so what's significant about this? This is the first one that you're doing, and it's like freelance. But well, what... it's, I've got more freedom. I've got more. Fr yeah, there's freelance. Um... So when you mean freelance, is that you're not tied to the to, to the original plan to the original plan, Completely. so you can go off off. Yep off kilter or uh... so we've we've changed that we've changed the number of things so and what you was you were telling me you like you like that because it gives you more freedom so you can basically change things around and then it, yeah. It, it, yeah it's more it's like more of a relaxing build well it's it's a different build i've never done anything like this before damien so mm. it's uh i've always stuck religiously to religiously the plans. to the plans um but this is the first time that i've ever had a go at doing something that's a little bit uh that you could sort of introduce some originality into yeah that's interesting that's interesting i've never i i, I know exactly what you mean but i've never thought about the differences but now yeah yeah it does it does mean that you can be um a little bit more uh free with your or like your imagination or your just hmm. creative side okay so this is the start so there's the three holes so the holes are bought yeah the holes are bought and they're a saric hole um, I'll take take this one out here. Uh, I'll just make sure I get the right. So next, and you're doing them, you're doing them brushed. Oh, brush motors. Yeah. Yes. Brush motors. Yeah. Yep. The decks are kind of ready to go in. Yeah. Okay, and we've gone for the yeah, twin quartz, quart nozzles. Yes, so they're all Ah, oh, so hold on, so does the quart the cylindrical part doesn't no doesn't spin, so they're not actually a quart nozzle. No, no, okay. They're nozzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. nozzles. Just nozzles and they got the rudder. And not even a Becker rudder. rudder. No, they're shillings. Shillings? Mm. And this has got to have a curve oh, yeah. cut around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On that. Lovely. That's actually a nice size. It's a great size. Mm. Um, Manageable. And... Um, so what, what what year was the original boat? What, what, what period? It would have been in the uh, 1950s. Uh, 50s, okay. All right, okay. Mm. One old school. One old, old school, school battery. Old school battery. Who, who uses car batteries anymore? Bob, you do. We use the sealed no. acid. Oh, no, nice. a gel. Gel acid, which is obviously um, doubles up as ballast. Yep. And was old school. Well, old school was a was a lead acid battery with a windscreen wiper motor. That yep. was that yep. was real old school. Well, yeah, that's old school. Old that school. is that is old school. Old school. But there's the batteries, the... yeah, yeah. Well, they do. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, it is ballast, and um, on a model this size, it's perfect. I've never had the opportunity to do this before. So, that's. The basic layout of the of the ship. So, so is that how it was originally, or this is the way no, that you this think? Is, this is the way you're going to see it. This is, or this is what it was originally. Yeah. With my tweaks. Yeah, yeah. And okay. this is the first time I've ever had the opportunity to do the tweaks, if you like. And almost like redesign it to your specific needs or purpose. Yeah, and I mean yeah. we're just doing it, and be, because there's three of us that are building it. Yeah. Um, we've all got to agree on what we want. So, so, what, was, so what would be the ma major difference or the things that you've sort of um, redesigned? Well, we've changed the um, uh, this uh, the, the, the hatch back. at the back. Mm -hmm. Changed that. Uh, we've decided to put an RIB in there. Mm -hmm. um, and I've still got to make the, the high ab to look after the RIB. 
but it means we can look at where we want to put the um, where we want to put everything and the other day we were talking about well where are we going to put the life rafts and so we've decided now that we'll actually have the life rafts off this deck but they'll be on a little ledge mm -hmm. be, and they're the sorts of things that so are not included in that general oh, right, um, right. and these are rafts or, or are they the, the life rafts are they, yeah. are they the, the one boys. so they're not the cylindrical the cylindrical yeah, they're capsules. The, they're the round cylindrical round capsules. Yeah. And, and so the life rafts inside and they yes, open up that's and they right. the water. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. they'll be on a little ledge out yeah, here yeah, somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um so we've we we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so but it this is the first time I've had the opportunity to draw something like this up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's quite that. It's quite exciting to do, design it yourself really. To be able to do that. Touch yeah. On it. Mm. yeah. Yeah. So we've never that's great. And it allowed me to um, get the uh, get templates out mm -hmm. to to yeah. draw the front and back. So and, and once this is all sort of designed and everything, then basically you just can break it up into the bits that have to be individually uh, yeah three uh, so D printed. Some of these will be three D printed. Some of them will be CNC. CNC. But they'll all gives us the opportunity to do yeah. that. And like all your models, it's all plastic. There's no wood. No wood at all, no. It's all plastic. So, so essentially, if you if this was timber, like ply, you'd be using a scroll saw. But what do you say? What do you use? You use a nibbler. 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 So you drill a hole. Yeah. Start it off, and then the nibbler just. So the nibbler was is actually like for sheet steel. That's what it's, uh, you know, like for cutting um, corrugated iron and stuff. But this... Here's the hand one. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought of using the nibbler. That's... Here's the hand one. And... But you wouldn't be able to use the nibbler for, for ply, because it, it would... Well, it, it only does two mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nibblers. And that's the, but... that's the hand one. Yeah, so basically... Oh. And so you run through... Yeah. And it keeps a nice, perfect little yeah, 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 little edge. Yeah, which you can't you can't do that with ply because it um, squishes. It'll squish. Squishing, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you can do it with plastic or aluminium. And, or and then brass. when you when you use a scroll saw on plastic, it it, 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 it it's just too rough. So oh that's... no, it depends on the speed. Yeah, yeah you can. Yeah. You've got to adjust the speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's um, interesting. Yeah, to, and then you got the electric one, electric nibbler, and that does yeah, that. Yeah, the electric nibbler goes right through the whole thing. And... That's great.